There are now four different dinosaurs coming to the Isles update 6.5, which is making it one of the biggest updates for the game. So far, we have Bapiosaurus, Trudon, and Ceratosaurus, as well as the next dinosaur, which was released and announced yesterday. So, if you are new, feel free to subscribe, but let's get right into it. Gallimimus is coming to update 6.5. It's been officially confirmed by the developers on April 1st. I know a lot of people are like, was this an April Fool's? But no, it's not. Their official April Fool's video came out like uh, later that day. And I, I do believe when they actually announced Galli, it was actually on the back end of March still for them because it was like just half past midnight April 1st for me. This is the last playable to be coming in update 6.5. This is the fourth playable to be coming in 6.5 as well. Joining the roster of Trudon, Ceratosaurus, Bapiosaurus, and now we have Gallimimus as well, with some teaser footage too. So, what are the key features of this dinosaur that you need to know about? Gallimimus is a group animal. It's focused on being in a group to bolster its strength and to escape predators with speed. It's built to run away rather than fight to the death. It has a very good capacity for speed and distance, but its acceleration is slower than many other of the dinosaurs that are currently in Avrima, so you'd have to get the ambush on them and the jump on them pretty much with enough distance. Its diet ties into its top speed. If you have a perfect diet, your top speed will be higher, with the pack leader also influencing the top speed of the group as well with a call which also changes things and that is the mobilization call which provides a boost to the speed of itself and to the flock so there we have it the fourth dinosaur to be coming in this update the second herbivore to be coming in this update alongside two other carnivores Trudon and ceratosaurus as well making this one of the biggest updates for dinosaur releases so far and i cannot wait for it when do you guys think this one is going to release i'd love to know what you think so, Night Vision has also got some changes as well. A large swathe of dinosaur changes are coming regarding abilities and Night Vision. Firstly, with Night Vision, basically, they're making tweaks to Night Vision to make sure that each dinosaur has its own unique Night Vision ranges, which have been set up for current and new playables. Basically, the general idea is, is that the bigger you are, the worse your night vision and also carnivores seem to have slightly worse night vision than herbivores depending on what carnivore it is like some of them might be better at daytime hunting whereas the ones that might be better at nighttime hunting will have the better nighttime vision so they do show some examples here dryosaurus night vision compared to tenontosaurus night vision you can see the dryo can see the woods on the other side of the field whereas tenontosaurus cannot it barely can at that rate however if you want to be seeing other stuff omniraptor has a similar night vision to tenontosaurus so it looks like if you can see a tenontosaurus the chances are the tenontosaurus has seen you as well but what makes it even interesting is carnotaurus's night vision is absolutely terrible look at it compared to the utah raptors or the omniraptors sorry where you can't even see the trees on either side of the field leave alone the ones that are furthest away so of course you still have a chance at escaping a carnotaurus because they're a little bit blind and will have to rely on scent it basically shows that each dinosaur does change their night vision depending on the dinosaur that you are playing as I'm pretty sure diet will also tie into this one too but there are some other ability changes that i do want to talk about so let's talk about them as well some ability changes have came to a wide range of dinosaurs and showcase of brand new abilities for upcoming dinosaurs. The dinosaurs that have got ability changes are Dinosuchus and Dryosaurus, and the dinosaurs that are upcoming that have their abilities shown off are Ceratosaurus, Baby, and Galli. Firstly, with Dinosuchus, Dinosuchus' water sense ability has been adjusted to only appear for prey that swim on the surface of the water. Uh, fishes, I don't think, have changed that much. This allows for stuff like Baby to properly hide under the water from the likes of Dinosuchus, which I think is a really good idea. Otherwise, the baby will just be constantly hunted all the time because you'd always know where they are. But they will be revealed when they go up for air, so make sure you are safe when you're going up for air. 
For Dryasaurus, the dodge ability now has two charges as opposed to consuming stamina. The recharge time isn't properly set in stone just yet, however this is what the ability seems to be like going forward. For Ceratosaurus, you'll be getting a charged bite ability. This is a brand new ability coming to the game. The longer you charge the bite for, the more damage you do, and also deals an increased amount of the bacteria to the target, which means, you know, you'll be able to get some good bacteria on them, allowing them to be sick a lot quicker than just stacking it on with bite. For Baby, you've got the Breach. You're turning into a dolphin. Yes, you are. But the Breach will be able to recover oxygen as well, which allows for you to Breach, recover some of your oxygen, go back down. So it's kind of like quickly going up, going back down straight away. And it's going to be nice to do. Kalimimus is mobilization call has also been showcased here with an animation essentially the call is that when you're grouped all members within a close proximity will receive a speed increase for a few seconds this call must be done in a group for group members to be able to get that buff when timed right you can essentially allow for a lot of maintaining of that speed boost by essentially stacking call it's also very loud so predators will be able to hear them easily here are some clips of all of this stuff back to back for each dinosaur so check them out We have a bunch of human structures to showcase and talk about. These are being developed by Visual Tech 48 and there are some good stuff here. Firstly, they're making a kit for the dome and a kit for the dockyard. And it's basically working on modularity and allowing some interchangeability for stuff like textures and interiors. Essentially, they also showcase the main features of the dome, which is the massive window hexagonal shape details, some of the kind of little river dam or outputs of water waste areas, the sewage system, and the 
fact that the dome kit has a more concrete look. We also have a look at the dockyard kit, which is on the screen now. Overall, I really like the human structure stuff. Not much of that was shown in this dev blog, of course, but it's nice to have these on the map because it adds to the lore of the game. And of course, it's something for the humans to be able to utilize as well, because they will be planned to be able to go inside them, which is always nice to know. Anyways, we have two concept arts to go over, Myasaura and Dinokiris. So let's get right into it. Now we have Myasaura, the gentle giant for Path of Titans, the mother of all dinosaurs. And we're going to have a look at its uh, concept art here. And uh, it's going to be quite interesting. So, of course, we do showcase some of them wading through what looks like swamps. Maybe they'll have a nice ability where they're still able to move quite quickly through the water and it doesn't deter any effects from that. But uh, I'm just covering it with my face cam there. That was my fault. Here it is once again, a bit closer. So my face cam is not blocking it. It looks quite nice. It's literally just them wading, which probably just indicates a wading mechanic and nothing else there. Here it is being attacked by a Carnotaurus. I think this ties into the next slide. It looks like it's attacked its side there via a headbutt charge attack then it kind of feels dizzy and the myasaur seems to not be hurt so maybe it's got some kind of thing where it's like immune to the charge attacks from carnotaurus and other dinosaurs that do charge based attacks that kind of stuns them and makes them feel dizzy I think that's interesting. It's like a debuff to a very strong attack. Moving down here, we have it barging a Ceratosaurus by the looks of it, using a shoulder barge mechanic there. I'm actually not too sure what that indicates. It could be similar to what's going on up here, but this shoulder barge seems to be the, an interesting one. I don't know exactly what it could be, but it does look like a way to get away from dinosaurs, maybe hurt them a little bit, cause some damage to their, you know, stun. Uh, or their brain, sorry, and stunning them, uh, but that is the case there. And once again, a Myasaura protecting its nest uh, by chomping on what looks like compies. It looks like compies will be able to raid nests, so you'll have to be careful in the future because these creatures will be able to raid the nests and get in there while you're trying to make one. So do bear that in mind, you'll have to protect your nest from the AI creatures. Next up, we have it attacking a Dilophosaurus and protecting its surviving baby which is right there i don't know if that's dead accidentally trampled there's a dead baby there and they're letting out their anger looks like there will be a kick stomp based attack here you can see by this going in and stomping it pushing into the ground i'm not sure if that's indicating of a bite attack the way it's getting very close but they've also pushed away the baby i assume that's just some nice touch i don't think that will be something that will be doable I don't know if it's going to have a bite, but definitely a kick and knockdown attack. Then we move into a nesting scene. Of course, it looks like they'll be surrounded by the likes of Tenontos and all that in just a normal herding area, protecting their babies and a lone nest right there. And then there's a little hint. Overaptor stalking in the shadows, which indicates Overaptor will be getting that very nice gameplay mechanic where he'll be able to raid the nests, but pretty much every dinosaur is able to do that. So it's nice to know that it does get a homage to that mother brooding thing that Myasaur gets. But it's very nice overall, a very nice concept art. Uh, let me know about this one in the comments down below. What do you think about it? The next one we're going to go into is Dino Kiris's concept art. And here we have it, the danger duck, the killer goose. I don't even know what people call it. But yeah, Dino Kiris. Let's talk about it. This is something that a lot of people are excited for. Firstly, we're going straight into it. Wading in the river, using its claws as some kind of way to kind of grab onto the bottom of the rivers, kind of pull itself along by the looks of it, because those claws are absolutely massive and will probably provide some good grip. Or it could be digging out the surface or the, the bottom of the water like that baby can do. And you see a little baby one chilling there, but babies will be able to see more of in the future, like right here. Yeah, it actually looks like this slide here is digging up the dirt and getting stuff from the bottom, whether that's roots or small fish that are hiding in the ground, like lungfish maybe. But it looks like that is what its diet could be. Going through the swamps, digging up the water or the mud, sorry, and getting what's under there, which will be a very nice mechanic and an interesting and new diet plan similar to that of baby. Moving on, we see a human on a raft 
coming up across two Dino Kyrus's. It's cool that you'll be able to get rafts in the game. This is what that's indicating there. Nothing else apart from the fact they'll be able to walk quite deep water as long as their head is above it and then maybe the top of their body is above it as well. Being able to wade through quite deep water will be a very impressive thing with this dinosaur which is very nice to know. Next up, yeah, it's a dead dino, uh, it's a dead Suchomimus or Baryonyx. I'm not too sure which one it is, but it looks like I'm I'm not too sure what it's actually doing here. Is it kicking it or is it using its claws? I can't tell. Obviously, that's where its hands will be. But like the way it's posed up, I'm not actually too sure. Maybe it's a kick-based attack. Maybe it's a very... I don't know if it's a kick-based attack. It could actually just be a claw-based attack using them big meaty claws to just push things down and hurt them. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know what this actually is because I don't know where the legs are. Maybe the leg is here and it's pushing it with its very muscular arms. Yeah, that's probably the case. Jesus Christ, that thing looks absolutely buff. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I saw legs there. The legs are most likely by uh, there in the ground uh, or in the water. And it's using its big claws to push it down into the water as well. But yeah, that is that. Very poor for that uh, Barry or Suko. I'm not sure what it is. But here we have a territory marking thing here. Clawing at the trees. Now, this could be used to either sharpen your claws or it could be marking territories. We're not too sure what this will be. I think it's sharpening the claws. Maybe your claws will have a certain level of sharpness and they'll go blunt over time. And doing this will be able to make them sharper again because, you know, they're big claws and with use over time, maybe they will get blunter and will need to be sharpened, which will be an interesting mechanic in itself. And finally, we have what looks like an Albertosaurus in the water with a Dino Kyrus. I'm not sure if it's water or if it's tar because it is a darker colour than the water, say, here. So I'm not too sure. If it is tar, then maybe Dino Kyrus will be able to walk through tar and it won't be able to phase it. But it's most likely just a pond and that Albertosaurus is very very unlucky very poor guy by the looks of it and yeah that looks like everything to do with the dino kyrus concept art only a couple here you got five concept for this dinosaur it's very nice it shows its diet shows its ability to wade deep water shows a little bit about its attack and i don't know what that last one is it could be tar or it could be just luring things into the water and then being very unlucky I don't actually know there. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think about both the Dino Curious concept art and the Myasaura concept art. Let me know as always. I always love reviewing them and I'm always probably wrong with most of them. But yeah, I'd love to know what you think. And there we have it everybody. Let me know your thoughts about all of these in the comments down below. That is the monthly DL dev blog. This is a very nice dev blog in my eyes. It's a very good one. They've gone over a lot here and it's very, very good to talk about. I love these dev vlogs. I always look forward to them because it's nice to see the progress. This one's definitely been my favorite this year. I'm very happy to see it. And they're still working on moving the game over to Unreal Engine 5. So there might be a delay in future updates due to that until they've moved over and then updates might come out faster because they're also working on that at the same time and probably want to get that sorted first and that'll probably be the case maybe after 6.5 or during 6.5 i'm not too sure but anyways everybody let me know your thoughts about this news in the comments down below and the concepts arts and yeah that's it if you are new feel free to subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace